lights out, folks. Back here in the big room, and uh, I didn't realize it continues so far over here. So you can see just the path back there. Well, it's hard to get a sense of depth, but I'd say that's probably a good down at the bottom of that ditch there. It's probably a good 20 feet down the ceiling. near the water dripping from the ceiling because that's how these uh as you can see there that's how these form and um, crazy there's a huge boulder back there and then one of the giant rooms over there um which uh which they say is the largest boulder to fall and it weighs 200,000 tons and it's hundreds and hundreds of feet long that fell from the ceiling but they say apparently it's unlikely that another rock fall will occur, a major rock fall, because apparently caves sort of um, stop, rocks stop falling once they sort of create that, that arc shape. And, uh, yeah, check this out. Unbelievable. use a flash unfortunately um, it doesn't doesn't uh, work as well um, with uh, you know down in the dark but um, without the flash you guys hopefully can still get a good idea um, this is just absolutely unbelievable look at how massive this is I don't even know how to describe it there's nothing that's comparable to it, it feels like being in a building sort of but it's all natural and um, unreal and some of the rooms are in or even this is the big room so it's looking like incredible so then the ceiling is just so insanely high. You gotta go down these super steep steps. Oh, absolutely amazing. Temple of the sun. This is called beautiful stalagmites and stalactites. Oh, crazy. Stalagmite and stalactite coming together here. This one's, oh, it's hard to see, but these ones just met up there. You know, once the water drips down, the water here, and there's actually like, there's no streams in this cave, rivers, but there's, um, there's actually ponds. Um, there's like some ponds, which are not springs, but they're actually from the, uh, whoa, my God. They're actually from the, uh, um, all the water dripping off the ceiling. And, um, that dripping water is incredibly mineral rich because it's coming from, you know, through the ceiling and it, it comes off of this, uh, of the ceiling, it has all these minerals in it. So as it, you know, sort of drops down, it's got all these minerals in it and um, it starts forming these stalagmites. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Wow, the echo in here is just insane. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I do hope, hope we're not uh, inaudible, but. Yeah, crazy. This looks like it almost like eroded out here. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. They got this thing lit up. Obviously naturally in here, it's absolutely pitch black. Um, but just gorgeous. Unreal. Oh my God. Unreal. Crazy.
southeastern New Mexico near Texas, really near Texas. Where you can see Texas from the high point of the park. The outdoor area is very beautiful. The outdoor area of the park is a lot of like canyons. Um, and, uh, you know, you're up high in the mountains. Um, this might still be the Guadalupe Mountains. And then you go down um, into this cave and it's like another world. You got prickly pear, yucca, all sorts of agave, and um, Did you see these? all sorts of. Yeah, they're all the way up there. You got all sorts of um, all sorts of uh, awesome desert plants outside, and then you come in here. It's just otherworldly. Look at the size of that. That is gotta be. God, that's gotta be at least <laughs> way over 100 feet. Less than 100 feet up. Um, Absolutely insane. One of these is called Bottomless Pit. Um, it's like eight, but uh, uh, absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. from a, a ways out from any uh, major city here in New Mexico, but um, it's a really special place. Um, absolutely gorgeous and um, absolutely worth visiting. Just stunning. Magnificent, magnificent. All right, folks, thanks for watching.